Okay. So, we have covered DHH for health. You saw memos. We know that our health is things like thin, ma, or oh, in fair, ma. Tambien, last week we looked at the E. We know the E is in a most young, like, oh. Please, potato, I like gray. We can be looking at our nose. And, oh, 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 oh. Three saying, ooh, curioso, enojado, enfadado. Y también, we've also covered the L, places that you are located. Like, I am at school. Estoy, what's that word for at a place? Look at your notes if you don't know. Estoy in la escuela. Estamos in la clase de español. Y hoy, today, we are finally going to hit the PP. The PP in Espanol, or in English, stands for the Present Progressive. The Present Progressive. The yeah, IP in the word progressive, we see the word progress. Progress is what is happening right now. The Present Progressive tells you what's going on now. Does anybody remember the word for now in Espanol? Ahora. Hoy means today, and ahora is now. So in class, first of all, as always, we'll talk about this in English, and then we'll flip over to Espanol. In English, the present, or the present progressive, I should put the present progressive. I don't know what's up, Seymour. English form of am, is, I am, he is, or are, you are, plus being. Basically, it just tells you what's happening now. Like, I am talking, you are listening, he is writing. What's going on right now? So you have an am, an is, or an are, plus he. We're going to use the form of the verb as star, which we like. For the am, is, or are, as star, to the H-E-O-P-P. So we'll have an estoy, estas, esta, estamos, or están, or am, is, or are. If the second, and this is going to sound kind of crazy for a minute, just give me a second. If the second verb ends in A-R, which is what we're going to talk about today, then we're going to drop the A-R and we're going to replace it with and. The ando in Espanol is equivalent to the ing in English. So give me a minute on this. Now I'm going to tell you, we're going to come back mañana tomorrow, and we're going to hit this phrase right here, and we're going to do what's over here mañana tomorrow. So hoy, today, we're only looking right here. So we've got on numero uno, I am talking, okay? So we look at this and we say, okay. I've got an M plus an E. That is a key key that I will stop and I will put a PP in the blank for present progressive. Now the I am is lo que hemos hecho. We've done I am forever. What form of a star is I am? Estoy. Is what flow high? I'm going to be lazy. I'll tell you what, I'll put this over here. You can have the yo if you want to, but you don't have to. So, estoy. Is anybody in here, I was assuming when I put this up here that we knew some verbs from Spanish 1. What's the verb that means to talk? Or, Okay. What's the verb? Anybody in the verb that means to talk? Hablar. Thank you, someone, for saving Senora. If you do not know of it, does this look familiar now that we have said it? Okay. Let's put hablar up here. And I'm going to put that hablar means to talk. All right? So I've got it turned to talk into talking. So all I do is just follow a little formula. It tells me I drop the AR and I replace it with ANDO and I get hablando. Hablando means talking. Now you have to have the estoy for the I am. Now something I want to tell you, once you make this hablando, you do not mess with it. It is a verb. If, it, if you're a girl and you're saying, I'm talking, you don't make it up, Wanda. You don't make it up, Wanda. Once you have the end, you're done. That's it. It's a verb. You don't have to agree in number and gender and so on and so forth. So just estoy, hablando. Okay? So I'm numero dos. You see the we are resting. You have an R plus ding, and you say, oh, ding, ding, ding. El presente de progresivo. 
Which form of this plant stops and stop will stop? It stops, all right? Now you can have the nosotros or not, that is opcional. Estamos. I'm going to assume that we don't know the word for two best. Two best knows in your We will see. Two best is the verb descansar. Now, descansar right up there means to rest. Obviously, it's an AR verb. I'm going to assume that we know why it's an AR verb. Why is it an AR verb? Because it is an AR. Thank you. Okay, that was a good assumption. So, to turn it to rest, descansar, into resting, I drop the AR, and I add what? Mondo, and I get descansando. Do I mess with that any further? See or no? No, just leave it alone. Descansando. All right. Next. Ooh, this one is more complicated. The boy is playing soccer. So I see the is ing. Ding, 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 ding. El presente de progresivo. Now it says the boy. So I'm going to write the boy. How do I say the boy? El Chico, El Nino, El Muchacho. I'm going with El Nino today. If you want to go with El Chico, knock yourself out. Now, do not be dumb here. We see is. What's the word that we love for is? Yes, I love that word. E. We're on the PP. S star to be A T L P P. Have it help you if you don't pick an estoy, estas, esta, estamos, están to go in the blank. S was not one of our choices. Which one goes with the Nino? He's singular and not on the Esta. Thank you. Anybody in here can tell me the verb that means to play a game? Thank you. To play. If you don't know this, I would write it. Hugar means to play. Hugar, to play. I take Hugar. I have to drop the AR. I turn that into who Gando. And then over here, we'll talk about this further. I'm going to assume you didn't learn it in Espanol Uno. When you're talking about playing and then you're naming a sport, Hugar obviously is playing and I'm fixing to name a sport, a.k.a. soccer. You follow the form of Hugar with the al. If you're sitting here thinking, what in the world? Just put it down for today. We'll get there later. Hugando al. Football. Okay? I'm going to give you the information you need here. Does anybody know how to say to sing? No, no, senora, we don't. To sing is cantar. Try it out. You all are singing. Y'all are singing, singing. It is, no Santa. I tried to get one more minute ago, but it's not there. No Santa. I'm going to give you a try. One more shot. You should definitely bring them sweat there. It just it stays cold in here all fall and winter. All right. So, in the blank, I should have a PP, but why? What tells me it's a PP? R and E. You have to have them both. You have to have an N is your R. That's the first part. And you got to have an E. All right. So it's the R and the E that tells me it's a PP. What's you all in Espanol? Usted is, do you have to have it, C or no? C, it's in that column of three, the usted L and A, usted C, C, C. You either have to have this or something that stands in for it, like Los Chicos, Los Estudiantes. Which one of the star goes with usted is? Están, bien hecho. What do I do to cantar to make it? Make it cantando. Están cantando. Do I stop and say, oh, wait, these people are for all. I should add an S. C or no? Oh. No, it's a verb. Once you mess with the verb, you are done. Don't either do anything to it. Yay! The pink pink! No. How about no? 